water water pump is super noisy so we're gonna have to replace it and i'm going to show you how to do it so just keep watching this is a uh, 98 2.0 volkswagen golf and we're going after the water pump um so i'm gonna show you what you need to do um but so you, first of all you need to take these allens off this is a six millimeter allen this is another six millimeter allen take those two off you should be able to leave this one here but we're going to take these off and i'm going to show you what you need to do in order to get the water pump out of there uh thanks for watching and like and subscribe if you like my video thanks step after you take your pulleys off you want to take this air snoot off and then we're gonna to have to take this cover off along with the bottom cover in order to expose the time belt because we're gonna to have to take time belt off and i'll show you how to line stuff up you want to make sure your balance shaft is lined up with your crankshaft. Make a couple extra marks so you know where everything is. Then up on the cam, you want to make sure that the OT mark is lined up with the OT. Here on the crank, you want to make sure the crank and the balance shaft are lined up with each other. There's a plug on top of the back of the transmission bell housing that you can pull. And you'll look inside and you'll have another timing mark. That's how you know when you're lined up directly on top dead center for where you need to be before you disconnect your belt. You want to use a 10 millimeter socket to loosen this nut up. Once you loosen the nut up, there's also a 45 millimeter Torx that you need to loosen in order to get off the belt tension. You want to remove your 45 Torx and then your 10 millimeter Allen nut. Watch out for the washer behind the nut when you pull off your tensioner pulley. You do that in order to get the belt off and just remember how that spacer goes on. You want to use a spanner wrench and a 19 millimeter socket to get your balance shaft sprocket loose. Once you get that loose, you pull your bolt out you just want to make sure that it's lined up correctly still with everything else and that your gear is keyweighed so it can only go on one way once you get your gear off you want to go ahead and pull this 10 shield off this two 13 millimeter bolts and it goes over the top of your your water pump <laughs> Once you get your water pump off, you want to start cleaning your surface on your block and make sure it's nice and clean before you put your new water pump on or else it's going to leak. This is my new pump that, with a paper gasket that I put RTV on both sides to help it seal. Just in case there's any imperfections, this will make sure that it doesn't leak. Once you put your new pump in there, you want to put all your bolts in and then tighten your bolts side to side. Make sure they all come up nice and tight. If you don't, you have a possibility of cracking your pump and would have a problem with it leaking. So I have my spanner wrench on my intermediate shaft and then I have my torque wrench. And you torque it to 58 foot-pounds. Make sure everything's nice and tight so it doesn't come off later. In order to get the belt back on, you want to start off on the crankshaft and work it over the intermediate shaft and over the cam gear and then onto the tensioner and make sure all your slack is on the tensioner side so it'll take all the slack out and you'll have your belt nice and tight on your right side. So you want to put your 45 millimeter Torx screw through there and then tension it with a flat blade screwdriver where my finger is and pry towards the front of the vehicle and it should tension your belt make it nice and tight. So now that you got the belt on, you can add your coolant, which is G11, which is Volkswagen's equivalent to their type of coolant. Um, run it and let it burp. It's this orange stuff down here in the pan. Um, and just put the rest of your stuff back together. Um, thanks for watching my video. I really appreciate it. I hope you like it and subscribe. Thanks.